Uh, you may be like, tell me, you normally talk about cars. Why are you talking about planes in the beginning of this video? Well, um, I'm on my way to Chicago. I've rented a car out there. So we're uh, getting ready to land. As you can tell, I'm absolutely shattered. So uh, here it is. Here's the car I'm going to be riding around in for the next few days. It is a Cadillac Escalade. I'm not sure exactly what the spec is, but I'm going to take you through it. I need to do some research on this because I actually don't know much about the car. But I don't think you guys realize how large this is. It's a seven-seater. I'm going to be carrying around some family and friends. I'm going to uh, make my way to see my family and uh, give you some content while I'm at it. <laughs> so we're in this restaurant called Syrup. That's my aunt. Hello, auntie. And this is my cousin, Makeda. My sisters and their partners. So here's the chicken and waffles. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. So finally, I have a little bit of time, so I'm gonna do a quick walk around of the Escalade that I have rented here in Chicago. Again, I'm not entirely sure on the specs yet, but I'm just gonna go around the body and give you a quick look. It's a very tall car. Uh, it barely fits in this shot entirely. I just wanted to rent something American, something like quintessentially American, something you couldn't get in, the, in Europe or in the UK. And I thought, why not get an Escalade? A few people suggested it on my TikTok and on my Instagram as well, but... <laughs> It is a massive car, it drives like a big car as well, so it takes a while to slow down. The brakes are tiny considering the size of the vehicle, which is insane. That explains why it's so hard to brake. It's that blacked out windows on the rear, and it's got the uh, captain seat, so you have one, two in the front, then two in the middle, and then three in the rear, so it's a seven-seater. You can fit a lot of people in there. Escalade 600, I've just seen, so I'm going to do some research on that and give you more, but here's an outside tour of the Escalade that I've rented. Some will say it's a ridiculous thing to rent. Some will say um, it's uh, the ideal thing to rent, but I've enjoyed it. The weather's terrible. I'm going to go inside. So, uh, just parked up. Uh, it's a mighty big step to get in the car. This car is very American. The bonnet is so high. In England, you would not be able to get away with a bonnet that high. I'm gonna shut the door, but I've got something cooler to show you. Something that I uh, haven't seen up close in real life before. And that is a, uh, a Rivian. I have never seen one of these before. Well parked. This is a cool looking truck. Cool wheels, a lot bigger than I thought. They make a, uh, a pickup version of this. This is the seven-seater version. I can't remember the exact model. Again, I'm not that educated on these cars just because we don't get them in the in the UK. Just admiring the interior is nice. I really like this. Um, if I was to get an electric truck and this came to England, this would definitely be on the list. Uh, good morning. So today we are doing a, um, I was gonna say a pickle tour. We're doing a Chicago food tour. I am currently in a bagel shop, stop. <laughs> bagel shop called Gotham Bagels. So this is how the bagel arrives. I'm not, uh, I know you watch my content for car stuff, but today, oh, this looks delicious. Enjoy. Mm. So the bagel is delicious. I would definitely recommend. The balance of flavors are nice. I got a, um, a classic uh, bagel. Mmm. Delicious. So, so, so behind me, yeah, Gotham Bagel, m much recommended for me. I think it's one of the better breakfasts I've had since being in Chicago. This car is um, large. It, you may struggle to understand, but this is pretty much, it's, it's pretty much up to like here on me, which is uh, dangerous. A child wouldn't be seen but it's a cool car though i think one thing that i've um, understood the more i've driven it is that it has its purpose and it fulfills the purpose quite well i'll get to that purpose um, later on in the video and i'll explain to you but for now let me take you for a quick walk around the car then we'll go to the atm and i'll get some cash out so this is the cadillac escalade it has a 6.2 liter v8 pumping out 420 horsepower and 470 uh, pound foot of torque, which is not a lot, but it's enough for what the purpose of this car is. It's a huge car. This isn't even the extended wheelbase version. It's got seven seats, so I've been ferrying my family around in it, and it's in this wonderful black color that shows up all the scratches because it is a renter car, um, so it's not in the best condition. So obviously, I have to change my opinion based on that. It reminds me much of like the kind of car you would get to just because you can much like a, uh, uh, coincidentally pulled up behind me, a G-Wagon. Anyway, let's get uh, some cash out and then um, continue the food tour. I'm not sure how much the sandwich would be, so I'm just gonna get out $60. 
so I've got the cash now. Uh, now on to the next stop on uh, Tommy's wonderful uh, food tour of Chicago in uh, the rented Escalade. Give you an idea of scale of the Escalade. Uh, this is a, a large um, Nissan and this is the Escalade. The smaller version of the Escalade, in fact, and it uh, kind of dwarfs that. Uh, one thing I love about the States. Remote start. The reason I've chosen to do this uh, food tour, because I wanted to show you the car. The food in Chicago is great. And um, this car is meant to do, not well, not food tours, but run around the city. It's like a big, a big cab. It's designed to take um, uh, professionals from meeting to meeting. But from here, we're going to Mr. Beef, so um, let's go. Man, I really love Chicago. I've been coming here ever since I was young. I would say on this food tour, things aren't boding well for me already because um, I'm already full. The roads here are so vast. I just pulling up. See how you can just pull up and I can still drive around him. So I've parked up now to stop the escalade. You push down there and then you get this cool little animation. But there was just an accident. Um, thankfully, it didn't involve me, but someone was reversing out of the beef place and they hit another person who was also reversing out of the beef place. See, Mr. Beef? The, it causes beef. Accident that's occurred there is um, there. Yes, yeah, that silver car hit the red car. This gives me an opportunity to show you the backup camera. Um, the, you might be wondering why the parking sensor is not making noise. And that is because um, they don't make noise. Instead, your seat uh, vibrates your butt. It sounds strange. Um, it's, it is strange. I'm not used to it. Uh, I guess they found that it was probably more convenient when you're driving people around. It doesn't stop the music and go beep, 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 beep. But I, uh, I beg to question this, uh, Cadillac. Why did you not just make the driver's headrest have the parking sensor sound in so um, only he can hear it? God, the weather is uh, nice today. Here. Take a piece. Before I proceed to eat my uh, wonderful beef dipped uh, in gravy, I'm going to show you. This is the Escalade. This is a normal sized car, um, E-Class. Look at that, normal. Tesla Model 3, normal sized. <laughs> Escalade. I've got my very expensive gimbal camera balancing on the hood of the Escalade. But uh, here we go. Let's see what this is like. It doesn't look great, but... I'm not sure exactly how I feel. So compared to Portillo's, which um, I had during this trip, the meat is a lot higher quality. I feel like the bread at Portillo's may be better. It tastes good. I mean, yeah, Mr. Beef is nice, good vibe in there. The people seem really chill. The Mr. Beef sandwich, I'll give that a solid seven out of 10, 6.5 I would say. Actually, before I head to the next spot, I was actually here yesterday with my cousin uh, I didn't manage to get Mr. Beef because I assume they needed cash, but apparently they do take card. Um, so here is a tour of uh, the interior, I think. I think that's what I did yesterday, of the Escalade. The longer I've spent with this car, the more I've understood about it. So um, here's the key. I'll quickly talk you through that. This locks, oh, oops. <laughs> this locks, this unlocks. Double tap this, the engine starts. And then you double tap this and the top window opens up so it's a, a split tailgate that has our oh, Taiwo's balloons are in there still and uh, well my sister's boyfriend and he's in Las Vegas now so I need to get rid of those balloons <laughs> and then a uh, double tap here opens the uh, tailgate but I'm not going to do that because there's balloons in the back and then you can set off the alarm and uh, yeah that's pretty much it it's a pretty standard style key it doesn't feel weighty but it looks um, it looks significant I would say and then also when you unlock the car if it's dark a little Cadillac image projects on the ground. And then if I go around to the front of the car, from here, a little Cadillac image projects there as well. So you can see right there. So that actually lights up white when you unlock the car. The light signature on the front is very complicated. I like this DRL here. It looks uh, it looks smooth, it looks slick. And then these, they look. it looks aggressive. The, the car does look aggressive. I feel like it rides a bit high. I would want to lower this by about like four inches, I think make this like sit right above the wheel. I think it'll make the car look even meaner. It'll probably make it drive better as well. It wouldn't be as comfortable, 
but there'll be less sway, less body roll. The materials don't feel hyper luxurious like they do in um, European luxury SUVs, but they feel good enough. Um, the driver and the passenger also has speakers in the headrest, so you have personal 3D sound. If you look up here, there's my cousin, but you have a digital rear view mirror that um, at first is quite difficult to use, but you get used to. There's tons of space back here, so you've got the captain seats. And then the third row seats, um, screens on screens. So once you've started the engine remotely, you still have to get in and start the engine again um, to activate your systems. So yeah, there's a screen on top of a screen. They're very clear. Um, this car needs engine oil, it is a rental car. But there's a cool little screen here that allows you to do things like change your heads up display that you might partially be able to see. Um, you can increase the brightness or you can change the gauge cluster from a regular gauge cluster to a full map gauge cluster, which is pretty slick. Um, it's quite overwhelming to use, especially because the number stays in this color and the road behind is the same color. And then you have AR camera as well. Because the front of the car is so high, there's a camera on the front just so you can see what's there. Um, and then also if you're using sat nav, it'll point directions where you need to go. Let me dismiss this here. Loads of buttons on the steering wheel. Interesting enough to skip track is um, vertical layout instead of horizontal. You have all your cruise control and everything here and heated seats. This is a blank button, but this button here, if you press it, the people in the rear seat can hear you better because there are microphones in the car that project your voice to the back. It is, it is a pretty, pretty cool feature as we let's continue our day of driving the Escalade and doing Escalade stuff. Uh, this is what the Escalade is perfect for, city traffic, um, stoplight to stoplight. So I've just checked out my hotel. I had to go back to get my stuff and uh, get ready to leave. And from here, I think I'm going to take it to Portillo's. Uh, Portillo's are known for their hot dogs. So I'm going to have to get a hot dog. If you look in front, there's a restaurant there called Tao. Um, I've heard from um, local Chicagoans, Chicagoans, Chicagoanese, <laughs> that it's um, very haunted, that building. Oh yeah, and I need to actually return this car with fuel in it. I'm waiting to fill with gas. Um, the car has 27 miles of range and is nearly empty. Um, the air AC decided it wanted to blow hard for some reason. This lady uh, doesn't know how to operate the gas pump. She's been there for about five minutes. Um, there is no defined entrance and exit. You can just enter and exit wherever you want. And uh, yeah, that is everything that's going on right now. It's one thing I love about America. Everything is just extra. Uh, $20 and that's 5.3 gallons. And it's still going. Surprising. Um, I'm not, oh, there we go. So we're on $85 and that's 20 gallons. So at Portillo's, you order, someone comes up to your car, you place your order and then you drive around. Everyone seems to have got the same idea as me to go to Portillo's right now. So I've got uh, two Portillo's hot dog, a regular hot dog and a chili cheese dog and some fries. Portillo's, um, the fries are the first thing I'm gonna try. I've had the fries before, but not in over a year. So let me uh, let you know how they taste. I mean, the fries are good. I'd want a bit more crisp. I remember them having more crisp in them. Here's my Portillo's hot dog with cheese. It's like a cheese sauce, as you can see. The chili dog. This is going to be really messy. Let me just take another bite, just in case. Mmm! Mmm, mmm, mmm. Portillo's, all in all, 7.5. Chili dog, 8. Regular cheese dog, 7. Fries, 6.5. The steak sandwich, 7.58. I've got my favorite drink, root beer non-alcoholic beverage. I have discovered that uh, the camera on this car doesn't have any grid lines when you're reversing. So you kind of have to like guesstimate where the car should be. Turning circle in this car is amazing. Let me see if I can show you actually. Oh, pretty epic. Small turning circle. Very easy to drive, very easy to park. So the Escalade is parked up. We're on the way to the airport, but their last stop on uh, the tour of Chicago's finest dining establishment is Giordano's. We're in Rosemont. I'm here with my aunt and my cousin, and we're meeting my other cousin. It's a deep dish pizza. Yes, let's go. So, I'm a. What does that Keithy say? I got it. Let's try it. I'm ready to one food <laughs> She looked over the way. Yeah, she's like, wow. Pizza's four, delicious. 4:30. That is a 
That's a good pizza. Delicious. Yeah. I do love me some blape dish. Chicago people, I'm doing, I'm doing a southern accent. <laughs> right. Mecca. Yeah. Today, I have eaten a bagel, Chicago bagel. I've eaten okay. at Mr. Beef. I've oh, eaten at Portillo. Oh so basically, God. I was driving the, I did a review, so reviewing the car, yeah. but eating at Chicago spots. Yeah. My last place on the list was Giordano, uh, Giordano's. Oh. So I've had everything today. This pizza yeah. is so delicious. I wasn't sure I'd be able to eat more than one slice, <laughs> but I'm definitely going to eat more than one slice. So my cousin Makeda ordered a pizza because obviously she wanted her own personal pizza. <laughs> so this, she has to eat this all by herself. This is small as well. I know. So let's analyze. <laughs> a Giordano's, I'll give it a strong. Did I rate it already? Eight, yeah. I said eight. eight. I'll give it a strong, strong eight out of ten. Yeah, I, that's I faces all up in the camera. Yeah, that was. Um, I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, man, was some good pizza. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm gonna wrap up by showing you the car. I need to actually return the car to sixth rent a car. They sent me an email saying the car was due back at twelve. When I asked, I specifically said I'll bring it back at five thirty. So I would have been late anyway. But <laughs> six hours is different from thirty minutes late. So I need to speak to him about that when I get there. So, um. I'm on the way home now, we're in the airport. Um, I managed to get a Giordano's pizza, a uh, frozen one, because I never realized they sell frozen, into my hand luggage. So um, I'm gonna be uh, taking that to my wife as a surprise. All in all, the trip was amazing. The uh, Cadillac Escalade, my uh, wrap up of the Escalade, my rundown. The Escalade is an interesting car. It's, it was a fun experience. It was large. It was very American. Um, I grew to like it more and more every single day. The first time I had it, I was like, this is whack, but then, the more I drove it and the more I understood its purpose, I was like, yeah, it's not too bad. I think my, um, my main qualms with like, things like the quality and whatnot, uh, the quality of the car, the interior, I never realized there's an upgraded interior you can get uh, and other options. So you get yeah, upgraded leather, so that would change it from that cheap leather that was in the car that I had. I put more leather in other places as well and it'll be like quilted seats. You can get um, rear seat entertainment as well, which would help the car, especially it having seven seats. Um, it drives okay and it, it, it feels like it feels decent to drive but I don't think it's a car that you want to do interstate traveling I think when you're driving in a city that's when the car uh, shines it is like a uh, I don't know it's like a city city stomper much like the G-Wagon you don't want to really do cross country in a G-Wagon it's not aerodynamic it's not really a motorway kind of car but around the city around the town that's where the car shines I think it's quite similar to that so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a way of having like executive travel. Um, and then you have the look and appearance of like an SUV or an off-road capable car, which don't get me wrong, the car is probably off-road capable, but uh, it's predominantly in two-wheel drive mode. Four-wheel drive is actually an option in it. So um, yeah, it's a great car. Uh, would I recommend someone getting one for 100 grand? You can get some really good used cars. Um, and for 100 grand, you can get some really good like new cars that are similar to Escalade, similar inside as well. Some of them are even cheaper. So I would say um, the Escalade is meant for people who really want to Escalade. There's meant for people who really want a Cadillac. Uh, so if you want a Cadillac, by all means. But if you want a big seven-seater car, there's better and other options. I guess that's my wrap-up. But uh, yeah, I'm at the airport now. My aunt's looking at me like I'm a crazy person. There she is. <laughs> so uh, currently on the plane, uh, it's another 787. British Airways. Uh, my favorite plane again smooth ride quiet ride um, a comfortable ride pressure rise to a lower um, atmospheric level so it's a better ride it's a better plane to fly on uh, chicago has been epic and i can't wait to come out here uh and enjoyed the video uh it's been something very different i just wanted to bring you like the experience without all the fluff i didn't want it to be too serious I didn't want to just make it about the blade i thought i'd just bring you like a little vibe more vloggy style stuff so if you guys like this i could do more um and i'm actually uh, getting off of this plane and going to ibiza like straight away